Alrighty guys, today is Thursday, January 3rd, 2019. Um, I cannot get out during the week to actually um, make fishing videos or do other outdoor things because by the time I get off work at 6, it's already dark out. So I thought I would do a video on how to install a brand new hard drive or upgrade a hard drive on a PS4. So what I have here is my PS4, which is a um, CUH1215A. It's a, one of the older PS4s. So first things first, you have to actually be able to access the hard drive on this. And in order to do that, you have to take this section here and slide it, pull it off. So try to do this one-handed so you pull this out like this take this off and of course your hard drive will be right here at the front so what you'll do is you'll pull this screw oops and don't drop it like I did And you'll grab right here on these pull the hard drive out now on the hard drive you have four screws holding it in the case um, tell everybody you know make sure you know how it's orientated so you know how to put the new one in so let me see if I can show you guys this fairly decent here so you take the screws out One, two, three, oops, that little piece came out, I gotta put that back in there, and four. Go ahead and try to put this piece back in. Go ahead and drop the hard drive out. Put this piece back in there. All right, so we got the old hard drive out. That was the, as some people would say, difficult part. So next thing you want to do is you get your new hard drive. Now, how I get to this is, is I go to in your normal Windows computer. You want to take and go to I do search I type in administrative tools and I want to go to computer management um, click over here on disk management under storage and it takes a minute it's gonna load them up so what I have in here is J I and J I can tell there's already something on this hard drive, so what I'll do is I'll just delete the volume. Say yes, delete it. it should come as one for hard drive. Now then, since it's already showing up here and it's already been initialized, what I will do is go into here, and it's not there. Alrighty then. So what you want to do is you want to do a new simple volume. Want to sign it to letters, and what you want to do is select the EXFAT, Extended Fat Hard Drive, and I always do a perform a quick one. So you want to let it do that, and now it's going to open up and show you that that hard drive is there, gives you your approximate free space. So now that that's done, what you want to do is you want to load up your browser. You want to go to Sony's. Uh, playstation.com so what you'll do is you'll click on help system update choose your system to PS4 now the first one that pops up is just a normal release and you want to install this on your system if you want to do like a manually update on your PS4 if you want to just do a manual update that's what you would do you would download this but this is not the one you want 
you want to scroll down here and you're going to come across one that says using update using computer so you'll do the other one what you want to do here is is you want to click on visit here for procedure to initialize your ps4 system and perform a new installation of system software such as when you replace your hard drive so the important thing that you also want to remember too is, is you want to get you a um, USB storage device um, flash drive if you got one now when you do this particular one on the new system it needs to be at least 1.1 gigs of free space so what you'll do is you'll put it in your computer make sure it's blank um, you want to make sure you create a folder that says PS4 and then a folder that says PS4 update alright once you've got that come up here you're gonna visit here now it's been giving me problems I think Sony's got an issue with their website so it's not gonna load so I've already downloaded this particular um, one so let me go to my downloads and what you're gonna notice about this update is that when you download this before you put it onto your thumb drive it says PS4 update parentheses one dot pup you have to once you get this onto your thumb drive you need to rename it and you need to make sure it stays ps4 update you need to delete the parentheses in the one and then leave the dot and the pup so it should read ps4 update pup and once you have that done then you're ready to install your new hard drive all right so set you down right here I've got the hard drive let me get it out so you'll take the hard drive you make sure you put it in with the bottom showing up get your screwdriver you want to put the screws back in on. two gonna give me a it's gonna be a pain in the butt give me one second here and put this in right tighten that one up that's the third one one more to go we'll be done four is done all right so then you're going to take the hard drive put it in until it goes all the way back you're going to make contact you can see the opening for the silver screw here now again I'm every PlayStation that I've seen there is no deal here that's going to avoid your warranty if you do this yourself I haven't seen any kind of stickers to tell me do not remove this take and put this back on slide it in place to clicks like clicks like so all right so what you'll do is let me change my channel on my TV all right so what you'll do is you'll take your thumb drive and you will put this in here in one of your USB ports Now, the other thing you have to do, I 
forgot about this part. But fortunately, I have a remote. It's giving me all kind of problems. It does not put that in. It's a little hard doing this with one hand. All right, so we'll work with that here in a minute. So what you'll do is you'll power it on. And it should come up. I'll give it a minute here. It's loading the PS logo. All right, we're back now. Hopefully, you can see that. I'm hoping. Um, got you on my head cam. So what you gotta do is you cannot start PS4. So you have to hook up your cable, your actual remote. Hit the PlayStation button. It tells you to make sure you connected the um, storage device with it in there. And what you want to do is you want to move it over to OK. Hit the X button. And it's going to say, please wait. And so what it's doing now is it's pulling the file off of the thumb drive and placing the files onto the hard drive. Um, like I said, I went through, I worked on this for like 30 minutes the other night trying to figure out why I couldn't get it to load. And again, just remember on that file you got to take out the parentheses and the one you have to delete those so it should just say ps4 update dot p u p and then once that happens it'll go through and it'll load all this stuff up here and we'll just see how long it takes guys I know a lot of people fast forward um through this but I want you guys to be able to see the full scale of it, how it looks in real time, so you know exactly how long it's going to take to do. It's not too long doing what I did, pulling the hard drive and stuff fast. Especially if you got two hands, you can do it a lot faster. Um, but when I did the update on my PS3 with this, whenever I had to do my hard drive, I just put it in and was ready to go. Um, but for some reason, it says so the note comes up it's safe mode ps4 be initialized all users and data will be deleted are you sure you want to continue click yes so what it's doing is it's initializing and it's basically getting it ready and now it's doing the software update on the hard drive um and the one I have that's in there was a 500 gig I just put in there just to show you guys uh, what I what I currently have in there right now is a um, Samsung 850 Evo one tier SSD solid state it's a faster hard drive um, than your typical just regular SATA hard drive which is what we just put in so that last 1% usually takes a little bit but not too much time bam and it's going to restart Yeah, I actually bought this PS4 on eBay. I won it for $70. And, um, guy said it had a white light of death, which is typically the HDMI port that's bad. So I've never messed with a PS4 before. So I thought, you know what, let me get it, see if I can't fix it. When I get it in, I boot it up and it's telling me it can't find the hard drive, which automatically tells me that it's got a bad hard drive in it. So I ended up upgrading the hard drive. For 70 bucks, I got a PS4, 500 gigs. All I did was put a new hard drive, and I've got a lot of hard drives laying around the house. So I had this one tear that I pulled out of an older, another laptop that I had built. 
I ended up not needing one so big, so I used it in my, my PS4. So it was initializing everything earlier. Now it's actually physically installing the update file to your hard drive. And I'm still sick, guys. Um, so my voice is sounding really rough. That's the reason. And I mean, this this takes a couple minutes. While we're waiting, um, you can tell I'm a big X Files fan as well. I've got the poster that Fox had hanging up in the little downstairs basement whenever they're doing the X-Files. And then over here on the wall, this uh, wall rack my wife actually built for me for my fishing poles. Um, she's really good at woodwork. Me, unfortunately, I can't do anything with wood hardly. I, um, I'm not the best with it, so... But I do, like I said, I, I do work on cars on the side as well. Fish, hunt. I can do pretty much everything but work with wood. I just can't seem to cut a straight line. But that was really nice. And I'm trying to convince her to let me do some of her. She's making some projects. I'm doing some projects. So maybe she'll let me film some of them and we can do some of this together and you guys can see some of the work that she does. Right, it's at 85 percent it's going to restart again Go ahead and pull my thumb drive out because it should be done. I don't want to try to boot from it. Alright, so here we go, it's coming up. And from here all you have to do is go through and just reset it up. Now it gives you the option if you have another PS4 you want to transfer the data from. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you can also, if you've got a, a hard drive that you want to transfer the data from, if you've got it stored on a hard drive or on one of the USB thumb drives, you can install it and restore all your old stuff. Um, I didn't have one, so I haven't had to do that. And so basically, it's going to tell you to hook up your DualShock, hit this button. Like I said, I got I got to deal with this making a bad connection, guys. All right, so now that that's done, um, I set it up English. You can. It's going to go through all the setups. And so I don't have the internet hooked up to it right now because I, I had to unplug just to give you a quick um, demonstration on how to do this. Skip. And Central Time, 8.38, is that right? Yeah, nope. But we'll just do it and do it next anyway just because you set up your, you know, your deals, what you want it to do. Accept. Start now. Bam. And there is your basic brand new ready to go 
new hard drive in your PS4. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, or if you didn't, like like it, thumbs down it, um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I, I would really like you know for some feedback, guys, on what I can do better. You know, maybe there's something you guys want to see me work on, or something you know, see me do something different. Um, just let me know. Drop me, drop me some comments in, in the section. Just say, you know, hey, I'd like to see you work on an iMac, you know, or work on a, a MacBook, or you know, put together a PC, you know, something. Just let me know. Go fishing. Just let me know what you guys want me to do, and uh, just leave me some feedback and let me know what I can do better. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it.